the count in the door. He hears a bug. There's a fly in my uh, window and he hears. You hear the bug? What is it? <laughs> hey y'all, it's Allie and Count Zinzendorf. I wanted to share with you a new notebook that just came in. It is from Chic Sparrow. It is a new leather that I've never seen before from the Mockingbird line. And I got the color Nightingale. There's like a movie. There's a movie that's really funny and there's a lady that sings. Sing sweet Nightingale. Oh, but it's like, is it a Cary Grant movie? It's like funny. It's like a comedic old movie. If y'all know what I'm talking about, let me know because it's hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, so I am just going to do an unboxing. It came in a bag, but just basically showing you my first thoughts and what I think of the leather and compare it to a couple of leathers that I already have. So if that's something that you're interested in, follow Count Sinsendorf to the table. This is my package from Chic Sparrow and I cannot wait. I have my other notebooks here on the side to kind of see what, if there's anything comparable at all. I've heard that this leather is just so unique and I cannot wait to dig in. I do not have a gray notebook. I wanted to get on the, I think there was a Darcy gray, but I'm actually excited that I waited because this leather does not darken when it, it patina is more in the, um, like if there's any, you know, scratches or wear on it, but it doesn't darken as it patinas. Whereas, you know, my Darcy's have darkened. See, you can see this is my original Darcy. This is my B6 Slim Darcy. And I've showed this before. Oops, I think that's, <laughs> there you go. This is my newest Darcy. This is a little older and this was really old and I haven't been using the personal size at all. So I'm sure if I had been, it even would be getting like more deep and rich because of this Texas sun. I cannot wait to dig in. Oh, cute. I haven't bought a notebook in a little while and this is so cute. Look, it's like its own little paper. I have to save all these things. Oh, and it's yellow on the, oh, they put yellow on the inside. How cute is that? So this is all the information. So cute, I'll have to use this for my next cover. Aw, I love you too, Britta. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. So I requested in my notes if I could get lots of character and markings, if possible. They are so sweet, and if possible, they will try. So I did put that in my notes. I love the Chic Sparrow team, and I love this sticker. How cute is this sticker? I want to save that nice and use it for a cover and a smell. Oh, this smell is amazing. So, so far it, it feels a little thinner than my other notebooks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's like, wow, I don't know what it is. It's got pull up. I love that. So I might... I don't know, to roll or not to roll. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my word. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, uh, it feels kind of smooth, like Darcy, um, but it's, it's a little thinner, which I like, I love. Oh my word, look at that. See the pull up? So it gets a little lighter right there. I wonder how it scratches. Doesn't really scratch. It does. Okay, so but not not. It took me. It took me really digging. And I like. I like. Like like. Character on my notebooks. I love this. And the inside, it's kind of cool. It feels like a. It's kind of textured. It smells amazing. Mmm. <sighs> smells so good.
I feel like I I am a highly sensitive person, just to note. And that just means that touch, sound, sight, everything is heightened, like stimuli or whatever. And this does not bother me. I had heard that this bothers some people, but that doesn't bother me at all. It feels it feels almost kind of I don't know. It's textured, but it's not like a it's not like velvety. It's not I can't stand that cheap velvet feeling or whatever. It feels nice, y'all. Like I love and I love the floppiness of it. Like look at that. So let me get another notebook to compare it to. This is my what is this? Titanic. Titanic? I think this is a Titanic. But um so it is a little thicker. The Titanic is. So I should kind of show you the difference. So this is a little thinner. If you like the Darcy look, but do not like the Darcy thickness, you like the floppiness of like, um, you know, the, the creme leather, this would be a good option because it is nice and pliable. Let me get my time traveler. I got another rare one coming too. So this is the time traveler and it's, so it feels kind of like that same pliability, but the time traveler seems like it might be, no, they're about the same thickness. So this is the time traveler. It's the new Outlander uh, leather. So this color is called the time traveler. Look how pretty that looks together. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So it's still, it feels very like, oh, it feels good. It feels good. It might be like the teeniest bit thinner, maybe, I don't know. It might not be, <laughs> but that's that's the comparison of it. Oh gosh, I just love that notebook. It's so nice and soft. I love how it looks and how it ages. I mean, I don't know how it ages, but I love like the little, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like little marks right here. It's so pretty. And then this is the old Outlander leather. Oh, the sun's coming out. And it is really floppy. And this one has two secretarial pockets. No, it is not for sale. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been wanting this older leather to come back. I love this notebook. It's an A6. I will, uh, I'm going to be switching my, I'm going to be switching my spiritual notebooks into an A6 size instead of a pocket size. So I'm very excited to be able to use like this one, my Allie Brown Joy. There's another one I had too. So that, that one I am keeping. But it's floppy too. It's real floppy. And I believe that's oil tanned. And then so here's the time traveler. It's really floppy. And then this nightingale, the mockingbird. And I'm sure it's just going to get floppier and floppier um, once it ages, once I use it. That is it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Like look at that cool mark right there. It's so pretty. So pretty. I'm going to just do the spine just to see what it looks like. That's so pretty. Look, it even made those little dots show up more. I love it so much. So this will be so nice to have in my B6 collection. Um, I like the stitching. I always, I like the look of a deluxe, but I don't, I don't really use the pockets much in deluxes. So I'm just kind of a classic girl. Um, I make my own little pen loops. Yeah, that's, isn't that pretty? Oops, I have to tighten that elastic a little bit. I actually have some elastic that I purchased. Um, I think it's about the same, yeah, two millimeters. And it'd be fine to like do a different elastic. If I can find the link, I can show you. Ooh, the pink looks nice. Oh, that's pretty too. I do like that yellow. So I might change out the elastic on this one, just on the band, not the, not the innards, but the band might be fun. See, so it's super easy because you can save this and then um, just, we're going to, I'm gonna have it a little bit tighter and then cut that. Hey, this is extra. I didn't know I was gonna do this. 
But it's a fun way to add a little bit of color to your TNs. You know what? I needed to do more. That's okay. Because of that knot. I can't remember. I, rem I used to do these when I would visit Jen and she'd have to go into the office. An easy job for me to do was uh, to uh, just tie elastics because it's easy for Allie to do. Because <laughs> all the other stuff they do is so intricate and they have such beautiful like steps to do what they do. So I didn't want to mess anything up. But... And what you're supposed to do is get a um, get one of those dental floss things. But I'm going to try to do it with just my hands. There. So that's got yellow. That's pretty. And when it gets fuller, it'll close. And I can always, like, tie this closer. Well, you'll know it's not going to come off that easily. That'll be nice. Also, too, you can put a lighter on these and let me do that real quick. And you just kind of like. That's all you do. To make them not fray anymore. Ah, there we go. Nice and taut like I like it. So isn't that cool? So that's a fun, easy way to add a little pop of color. I think with this gray, it looks so pretty. I mean, I could change this up. And again, it's as easy as just saving your elastics and putting them in a little bag and, and being able to just change your colors out. The green looks pretty. I love this mint and that blue color looks pretty. So I just, I really love that pop of color on this notebook. It's kind of like a Darcy and Time Traveler had a baby. I always feel like I, I make Jennifer's notebooks reproduce. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have a nest of stuff here. I really like that pink too. I might have to make one of the pink as well. Like look at the reverse of this. Like there's a gray on that Titanic or on that or I just love being able to change having the opportunity to change your elastics if you want to and it was not very much money I think I think all these elastics were like 10 bucks maybe and you get a lot like I could easily make uh, three elastics for the length that they gave me for this size the b6 slim for that size I could probably make three for each notebook. So as I was saying before, I feel like every time I review a new leather, I am having Jen's leathers like reproduce. <laughs> I'm trying to like share like wh what they're comparable to. Um, so I feel like this Nightingale, this Mockingbird leather, Darcy and the new Outlander had a baby. <laughs> That's what I feel like like it is because it looks very much beautiful and character like a lot of character but it's like the thinner if these two had a baby then the mockingbird would have been the baby of these two is a mama and a daddy and a baby <laughs> but i just love it i love it so much i sure hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you have this notebook let me know your thoughts what is your favorite leather from Chic Sparrow. I want to know. I want to know. Let me know in the comments. I hope you'll have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye. I love him. He's a good boy. He just got up. Oh, well, no. Man, I don't like how he said that. Wait a bye, bye. <laughs> you hear the bug, don't you? <laughs>